All right, gang, my name is Lonnie, and I've been out of the Arduino game for quite a while. And um, I had the, the folks at Elegoo, I think that's how you pronounce it, I hope it is anyways. They reached out to me uh, a few months ago and they asked me if I would review their kit. So last video, I got it actually a few months ago. And last video um, on this channel, I actually finally broke it out and unboxed it, looked at all the components, but it really made me want to actually get into this again. So the logical step is to go through, they have a tutorial with this thing. Um, the logical step is to go ahead and for me to go through this tutorial. I built all kind of stuff with Arduino before. It's been years. It's been like seven years since I've really used it. So, um, if you want to join with me, buy one of these kits or use like a regular Arduino and let's let's explore. So here is the setup I have and we're in my shed right now, okay? This is, I use this shed for my eBay business, but I can also use it for this. Um, I have two computers set up. This is going to be the Arduino programming computer here which is a Windows machine. I found that Windows is just better for uh, Arduinos. It just is. Um, I also have a MacBook Air here, and it's also connected to this 32-inch monitor here. So, which is nice, because for research and whatnot, I can use this computer for actually, like, coding and putting the, uh, and uploading sketches to the Arduino. I can use this computer, and I'll have three screens, which... If y'all have worked with Arduinos at all before, you'll know that multiple screens is nice because nine times out of ten, I'm researching something. I'm Googling something or whatever. So, um, okay, first of all, what I want to talk about is the Elegoo. I have the kit. I have the kit right here, and there is a disc with it. Pull this disc out. There's a disc right here. And it's got the PDF files with the tutorials on it, okay? And I went to, if you look on the disc, there is a website for elegoo.com slash download. And that's where I decided to go to right here. elegoo.com slash download. Really slow site. But once you get there, as a matter of fact, I'll throw it over here to the big screen. But once you get there, um, it has Elegoo Uno R3, the most complete starter kit. And if you have another starter kit, they have other uh, downloads there. They have a lot of products. And I noticed that they sell all their products on Amazon. So, let's see. And they're, they are not paying me. They did send me the free kit, though. No, it's a big download. Look, it's 250 megabytes. So, I'm going to let that download. Okay, it's downloaded, and I'm in the PDF now, and the first part is just about installing the IDE, and installing the IDE is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go into that. I did think it was funny, though, that at the end, like right before you download, support the Arduino software, and they have these buttons to click to donate to Arduino, <laughs> and... You could just download, or you could contribute and download. And uh, they say, the instructions here, click just download. <laughs> so they're telling you not to donate. I thought that was funny. Okay, we're finally at lesson one. We've got the IDE installed on this machine here. And lesson one is talking about libraries and how to install them. And uh, you have to go to sketch the toolbar up here and then include library and then manage library and then it, it pulls up like a um, you can download from their you can download from the, like their library system or you can you can actually import your own like from a zip file or something and that's what this this goes into uh, it looks like it has a fairly good explanation of the whole thing here. 
have a pretty in-depth. Um, they they the the documentation is actually very good for um, for the libraries, and then they go into serial monitor, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, making a connection, selecting the port. Okay, now whenever I go to tools and port, like it says, um, it's grayed out. But I don't have anything plugged in yet, so let me plug in the Arduino board. I would like to take a moment to note that I'm really digging what Elegoo has done with this Arduino. Look how they have all the pins labeled on the... Um, oh my goodness, what do you call these things? <laughs> I can't remember what you call these things, where it brings the... Uh, uh, connects to the pads where you can plug in with the jumper wire. I can't even remember what you call these things. But I really appreciate the fact that it's labeled on the sides like that. I've never actually seen that before. And as someone with pretty poor vision, I could tell you that matters a lot. Because I have messed up in the past, especially if you're experiencing parallax, um, actually trying to connect up to the correct pin by the time you get up by the time you get up here it's off one pin i've done that i can't tell you how many times so i really appreciate the fact that they've printed on the side of those okay i'm using the included usb cable and i'm going to plug into one of the usb ports here on the side and hopefully now we got a uh we got some lights here it's getting definitely getting power and I was kind of hoping the port would go to a status where I could actually click on it. Let's see. Okay, port is not grayed out anymore. So that's good. That means it sees it. COM3 Arduino Genuino Uno. Click on that. Now I've selected the right port. Serial monitor. And here we go. COM3 is what this one says. One of the examples says COM6, and it says Arduino Genuino Uno. It's like, it looks like that's the end of lesson one. Um, it is just getting everything configured, figuring out the serial port and opening the serial monitor, and then lesson two is blank. So we're going to end it right here. See y'all next time.